right. All right. So we are recording. Thank you much. Keybert. I think Amy sent around a nice link with all the, uh, an email with all the links to the projects. Um, yeah, so anyone got any comments or queries or questions about Kubevert? Personally, I thought it looked in very good shape. I think it's a good project. I would echo that. I think it's actually becoming more relevant as the platform matures as well, as far as, you know, modern, modernization for migration to Kubernetes is, a, is kind of a backfill. Yeah, and they're, they're getting like really good metrics and adoption numbers and, and being used by quite a lot of providers. So hopefully that'll help spread the um, maintainer burden across a few more organizations in the future. So yeah, shall we, um, shall we do the same things we do in, in uh, sandbox reviews and just use chat for kind of votes for um, accepting the cube for annual review? Do we want to address Chris's comment about it being very red hat? Is that <sighs> some feedback we want to provide to the project going forward that we'd like to see a more diverse set of uh, contributors? I mean, I think that's we. I think we want to see that in every project. I don't know if that we just state that, <laughs> but you could you could respond to it. I was just making a public comment based on the developer stats that uh, it does seem a little bit red hat heavy, but for where it's at, it seems okay. And, and they they okay. pointed that out themselves. Yep. I mean, they said yep. that the uh, the current owners are all red hat. Yep. And they did say later on that they think it's in a healthy growing status yep. and they're working to imply a more diverse group of maintainers. So I think they're yep. aware of that. All right. I'll put in the chat, vote cube, but that's basically if we vote plus one, if you are happy with the annual review. Okay. The next one is Kada. I never know how to say it, Kada, Kida, whatever. Um, now, I, I think I said the same thing when they came into the CNCF. I think they're great. I think it's really useful. It's got loads of people using it. It doesn't really seem like it would have an independent life outside of Kubernetes and I don't think that's any fault of the project. This is no in any way criticism of the project, but I think it relates to some of the conversations we have about like communicating about projects and like for an end user, they couldn't, it wouldn't be meaningful to say, oh yeah, use CADA unless they were using Kubernetes. And then I almost feel like we need some kind of project groupings if you're using Kubernetes, here are some other projects that you might want to consider alongside that. Doesn't really have any bearing on their annual review, but it does have bearing on the fact that they want to apply for incubation. And I, I don't know whether, there's no reason for those to be, uh, you know, we could say, yeah, incubated projects, graduated projects can be part of a bigger family of projects or something, but I'm just trying to, um, explore ideas of ways of organizing these large numbers of projects in a way that will be easier to navigate. So I just wonder if anybody's got any thoughts on that. Do we have any similar, uh, similar projects in incubation and, or sandbox, uh, similar category uh, of the projects that we already have? So one that springs to my mind is um, Prometheus and Thanos. Um, So, I think, Liz, uh, there will be more. Your... Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, no problem. I just want to understand your comment a little bit um, more deeply. So it almost sounds like you're expressing a concern that they only that they're only applicable to Kubernetes. And it feels to me like there's plenty of projects that are only applicable to Kubernetes in the CNCF. So can you 
say a little bit more about that concern? I, I think this may apply to other projects as well, not just CADA. And I don't mean at all that this is in any way a negative reflection on CADA. I just mean that from uh, an from the perspective of thinking about how many graduated projects we should have and how we want to help people navigate the landscape, this particularly feels like an example of something that just doesn't have a life of its own. Like it can only exist as part of Kubernetes or, or kind of related to Kubernetes. Um, and yet it's not part of the Kubernetes project, which is fine because Kubernetes is already huge and doesn't need to encompass everything and not everyone has need for CADA. So I think it's fine that it could be separate. I just wonder whether it tells us something about a model where we could say, almost like not every project has to be a top level project somehow. Does, does that kind of make any kind of sense? Yeah, another background I mean, is I'm, I'm looking at the current step. I'm oh, sorry. I'm looking at the current sandbox um, uh, project. I see there will be more um, similar project coming. For example, Tencent Game. They are talking with me. They want to donate a project which is a a couple of workloads controllers. I mean operators for their game engine, uh, which is quite specific to um, Kubernetes workloads. And another similar pattern is some 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 other fun, some other company try to try to donate their. I think it's a Chrome. Current job HPA to CNCF Sandbox. Yeah. And also see, for example, Open Cruise from Alibaba is basically like a uh, stateful workload management controller. And uh, yeah, I, I think they share a similar pattern, uh, if I understand correctly. I completely agree. I, th right. I think I, I, Open Cruise was another example. And we actually had the conversation with the Kubernetes steering committee about Open Cruise and whether you know they had any interest in it being part of kubernetes and they didn't which is totally fair but yeah i mean you have to remember the incubator was killed off so we kind of act as the release valve for a lot of these projects essentially what sandbox is for for a lot of folks yeah so i think with my um my comment there i've slightly derailed talking about cada itself um but I guess I just wanted to flag up that idea of perhaps we should be thinking about this grouping or family or something for projects. And reading the CADA doc really made me think about it. Um, but aside from that, anyone got any comments or concerns about CADA? They seem to have a good community, a diverse community, which is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I personally uh, be supportive to Keda uh, because um, I saw they have a very good contribution from diverse community. Uh, a lot of people are contributing components and integrations to this project, which is a good sign uh, for this project. And so I'm, 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 I'm personally positive to this project. And they are um, proposing, or they, they've put at the end of their um, annual review that they are planning to propose to graduate. I think they mean planning to propose to graduate to incubation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I know um, Tom had reached out to me and said, well, would I be interested in sponsoring them to incubation? I was like, let me read the annual review first before I say it. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. All right, should we do votes for Keda unless anyone has any other points they want to make? Good, good, good. And the last one is service mesh interface. Which anyone? Any comments or thoughts? I think it, you know, looks good, seems to have lots of momentum. And it, they've actually said they also plan to file for incubation soon. 
how, how are users using it? I guess is the kind of question I'd have. I like guess like there are implementations, but like are, are users using those implementations in order to be able to switch providers? Or I mean, there's not much comment about how how end users are using this or how they say it. I guess. It's, I mean, obviously, incubation. We would ask those questions directly, but there's nothing about that here, which is. Yeah, there is some uh, comment about. Uh, yeah, while some details for incubation appear to be focused on suitable metrics for source code, not necessarily specifications. So I think they're also a bit aware that they're going to have to, you know, it's harder to look at adoption metrics for a spec. But. Well, yeah, except that you'd expect users to be programming against the standard against the spec to some extent. I mean, it's... Do you think users or actual implementations of, of the spec? So things like, you know, all, all the service messages would have adherence to the spec versus necessarily users programming against it. Users just gonna go directly install a Linkerd or an Istio, right? Um, but, but if you use Linkerd and then you just, I mean, it's only a value if you've, if, if you actually are using just the SMI endpoints or something, otherwise you're just okay. using Linkerd. So you've got yeah. to, the user has to actually view that the, the SMI conformance is giving them some kind of value. Yeah. SIG Network were doing something about, um, well, maybe it was more about performance than conformance, but it would be really, it would be quite nice if SMI turned into a thing that, you know, we could say service meshes are conformant to or not. Yeah. There is some work being done in the community around that. I think Lee from SIG Network has a kind of effort around SMI conformance, but it's still like super early days from, from my perspective. Yeah. Uh, the, They've got this great list of ecosystem service meshes and I suppose that doesn't actually answer the question of can you interchangeably swap one for another because they support SMI yeah or even like is there any real value to SMI like the fact that you can swap them do people swap them or do they get any value or is this just like a tax all service meshes pay and then no end user gets any value out of that maybe that's a question for incubation though rather than annual review if they're going to go for incubation we can yeah, yeah. I, I think that's probably the best place to ask it because that's yeah. that's that is one of the big incubation questions but it's it it would be nice if they had addressed that a little bit here as well they, they have a line about updating the adapters for ongoing compatibility as a goal so maybe maybe it would be nice to like document how much of the functionality of the actual implementation is covered by the smi and how much is outside i don't know just to have a an idea a general idea Yes. I mean, certainly in terms of support from, you know, lots of different companies, there seems like there's good momentum here. So, um, yeah. yeah. It reminds me of like maybe CSI in the early days where things were a little bit messy still. I, I just still think they have some time to kind of build enough momentum uh, to get somewhere useful. Mm. All right. Should we do votes for SMI for the annual review? Okay, annual reviews are done, hooray. So what other topics? I think we've got 